All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the next game. Like he said, hey, homo, don't be doing my job, by the way. I say he's from Albuquerque. All the way from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it don't matter, it's downhill. It's fine. It's all downhill, yeah, so you have to go back. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Very funny guy, a producer out there. I'm a cricket too. Hey, what up? Kill me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jamal Hall! One more time for your host, Jerry. Yeah! Hobo sold him weed, Jerry sells me coke. Yeah. It's a full circle. It's, yeah, yeah, we, we, we all have to stay fed over here. Uh, I had a gang of coke jokes all for the white bitches who were sitting over here and they laughed. I was like, ah, there was so much white claw in this area. Wasn't there like, yeah, like, ah. Uh, I felt bad because there was like one lonely black friend. I was like, blink bitch, I can save you. Like, it's just, take me to ride home. I had so much shit that I wrote. I'm so mad that they laughed. I was like, ah! <laughs> Jerry walked them. Like, they're like, ugh. <laughs> Ran out to my car to go grab rubies, come back, and they're all walking out. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, if one of you starts feeling funny later, you lost by default. I'm just gonna. I gotta, I gotta go home with somebody. It was just, someone has to drag me home. I was so mad though, because they definitely, like, you know that they kept the, the you know, black chicken brown just so that they could say the N word. Like, it's okay, I have a black friend. It was just. I'm still getting these. I, I worked hard on these jokes right before. I was like, ah, you got, I'm like, don't leave yet. I have so much just for, for you. Uh, two girls' birthdays, and, uh, yeah, right? Okay, do you, you're like, yeah, do you know who they are? No. Oh, you had heard? Did you get any, like, like, like extra birthday shots that you sat close? They were, there were some stitchy bitches, like, they oh, and I know that they did coke. Like, they look like, oh, my gosh, there was so much, like, caked up in there. I was like, oh, so mad. They all just walked out, and I was like, this is my crowd. Like, oh, I had you have no idea, I'm so angry. All the drug jokes. Okay, do you do coke? <laughs> you, I know you feel me, but are you feeling me? You know what I'm saying? Clap if you do coke. Coke, coke, coke. coke. See, all the white bitches left, and I was like, that's my crowd. That's my crowd. That's my crowd. They didn't have any crow feet coming in yet, so I know that they're just like out here living like they got nothing to, to lose. I'm like, I guess early, bitch. Like, what are you doing? It's so mad. So mad. I don't want I'm, I'm also drunk, so I don't, I just blacked out the last five minutes. I just realized that I'm on stage. So, yeah, I am uh, Jamar Hall. Yeah. I, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I did come from, from Albuquerque. Um, I've uh, been heavy in the drug game in the, in the last couple months just because I've been traveling for shows and Breaking Bad fucked it up for Albuquerque. I was going to tell you guys, I've been traveling for shows uh, like Vegas and Salt Lake. Salt Lake! I was in Salt Lake and they're like, you're from Albuquerque. I'm like, yeah. They're like, you got me mad? <laughs> what? Salt Lake? Like, what? I was like, no, I was like, like, man, break, like, come on, bro, break it bad, man, that's all. I'm like, I don't do meth. Like, do I look like I do meth? I was like, I have all of my original teeth, like, it's good. They were disappointed, and I was like, I gotta, like, I gotta write about this, but I had to do research, so I had to do meth. <laughs> that's like the only way to do it. <laughs> like, ah, I don't understand. Did that coke? Jerry started like, yo, bro, I got you. Like, your coke jokes are kind of lacking. So go ahead and do some research. <laughs> yeah, one thing that I did learn about coke was, I'm like, really, you look like you do coke. Like, you you, you got like a whole hoodie going on. I know you like got like a, 
like a bag just sitting there. And just, do you have some? <laughs> no, I'm trying to ask you for some. Like, we're not, we're, we're, you know what? You have Me some. and you, oh. we're going to link up afterwards and we'll just walk around looking for, for some. <laughs> got some, got some. Oh, man. You know, that, that's like a bet. Like, I, I, I lost uh, 30 pounds this year. By all, yeah, thank you. From Coke. All from Coke. Yes. Thank you. Four inches on my waist. All just from. Just, uh, yeah. It's actually all the weight loss was from walking around looking for somebody who was holding. That's all that is. It's, it's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. But one thing that I did learn about cocaine is like it's an invite only drug. People get pissed when you invite yourself to their, their coke. But it's like you just have like lines, just like there's nine lines. There's only five of us. People are hella stingy. Like they get mad when you just like pop up and get in line. They're like, oh, people like, you know me? Like, I'm like a whole ass junkie. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, so I was doing that shit. Like, I, I just thought it was easier to just like inhale something rather than. Like, it was, to me, it was easier to, like, smoke some coke than, like, smoke weed. I don't know why it made sense in, in my head. But I smoked weed for the first time. I was in Seattle. They also hit me up for some, for some meth. I'm like, I'm sorry. I had to fly over here. <laughs> I got stopped for, a, like, a random check. Oh my God. But, yeah, but I, so I was smoking weed. And uh, the first time, the first time ever, like, I'm, I'm, I'm and like, shout out to all the weed smokers, because they were very, like, accommodating. They were checking on me. They're asking me questions. How are you feeling? How you doing? How you feeling? I'm like, I'm doing fine. What are you talking? How are you feeling, though? I feel fine. I'm like, how am I feeling? I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and tell them. I'm like, you know, I feel a little insecure. <laughs> I don't know if my parents love me growing up. I hate the clothes that I have on. My mom still dresses me. They're like, no, it's the weed hitting. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, I feel great. Like, my bad. Fuck, yeah, no. I love weed smokers, though. Like, weed smokers are, like, usually non-confrontational. Usually. Like, I saw, like, this fight go down. I was in Denver, and, like, this fight happened, and, like, this guy is yelling at this person who's obviously, like, a pothead. He's like, man, fuck you. Your mom's a bitch. I was like, oh, shit. Fight's going to go down. But I, this is when I realized that he was a weed smoker. He was just, like, really cool. He's like, yeah, she gets like that sometimes. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, no. Denver has it figured out, though. Yeah, Denver's got it figured out. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm from Albuquerque, uh, just drove down here. Um, I didn't choose to live in Albuquerque though, like, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't pick Albuquerque. I just want you guys to understand, like, I used to live in Las Cruces, I was happy here, but in, I, I, I got someone pregnant in Albuquerque, so I'm stuck there. It, that's just how like, like black people just like pop up, like we just like knock bitches up and we're like, okay, I've been here for 18 years, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna change the address form, like, here we go. All right, yeah, like, I'm, I'm stuck with, like, yeah, I was, uh, so I'm in Albuquerque, and uh, I had, like, this whole custody battle, like, pre-COVID, uh, me and my ex were, were going back and forth, and uh, I had actually started comedy before, uh, like, back when I was with her, and, uh, like right now is like the most supportive she's ever been. She was trying to get child support out of me and she was like, check his comedy money. Check his comedy money. And I was like, I don't get paid for this shit. I was like, I, I found this, this beer. Like I was gonna tell you guys, I don't pay for anything. I found that. I was like, these white bitches left this behind. So I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> Being economic, I don't want that getting poured down any drain. I was like, I will save the earth. Like I'm going green. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. So, but I'm like, like she's like, Photoshopping my face on like George Lopez flyers, like he's out here making it out. I'm like, ah, she's really supportive, and uh, like, it, I, I don't know, it's a long way to go, but I think I finally got myself my own manager because she's out here booking gigs for me. She's calling me at 3 a.m., like, what are you doing October 25th? I'm like, 
I'm watching our kid. No, not anymore. I got us the show. We are getting 350. Okay? Go make him laugh. All right. But during, and so that was like, and then also during like, the whole custody battle, uh, my daughter's school broke out with like this big head lice issue, like throughout like, the whole school. And my daughter was explaining this to me. She had no idea what she was talking about, and I, I explained to her what head lice was. Like sometimes you might have to go as far as to like shave the person bald in order to fix it. Like, yeah. Case, right? Case in point. Like, yeah. Do you have head lice? Not, not anymore, right? Fix that shit. <laughs> but she was freaking out. She's like, Daddy. I'm like, what happened? Mommy's boyfriend was bald. I'm like, oh, shit. She's like, he has head lice. I do know. And I'm like, no. Calm down. I'm like, all right, look, I'm trying to think of like what to, like, I'm stalling. I'm like, look, just, just calm down. I'm trying to think of what to tell her. I'm like, Mommy's boyfriend has head lice. Tell the lawyer. <laughs> I got 50 50 out of that. No child support. Her house is condemned. <laughs> I had to move into a nice neighborhood because of that, though. I was like, oh, yeah, look, I'm making it. I'm just... It was bad. Like, what? Uh, the, the way that I found out that I, it was like a nice neighborhood that I was living in while I was moving into my apartment, our white neighbors called the cops on me when I was moving in. Yeah, I heard the whole phone call. It was like, Karen was out in the parking lot. It was like, hello, hello, APD. They were like, what is going on? I don't know. I'm so scared. I want to report some suspicious activity. What is happening? <laughs> There's a guy moving into the apartment. He has a couch, come quick. It's like, oh, shit. Shots to Karen, neighborhood watch. I'm like, all right. No one's broken into my apartment yet. I'm like, I renewed my whole lease. I was like, I'm good. Just there. Okay, all right. I can make fun of young white bitches. Don't make fun of old white bitches. Got it. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, it's the whole back and forth. Back, yeah, right. Yeah, you just, yeah. Eventually, they're going to cross a threshold where they'll all be just offended. Like, it's just... I'm so mad that they left. Like, ah. It was, yeah, like the, the, uh, someone came over to me and they're like, hey, it's Tia and Hannah's birthday. And I was like, who the fuck is Tia and Hannah? What did they say about me? I was like, oh shit. And then Hobo was like, what? My Tia Hannah's here. I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> so mad that they left. Yeah, uh, so much, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. But uh, uh, but my ex and I were married, we, we were married for like a little bit. When we got married, I took her last name, like she pressured me, I took her last name. Yeah, we were like, what the fuck are you doing? Let me explain, all right? She kept her ex-husband's last name because she wanted his military benefits. I'm like, all right. I also wanted his military benefits. It's like, we're all winning in this situation. It's like, no, I'm eating that Denny's for free on Veterans Day, IHOP, Waffle House, Village Inn. Yo, I, I, I have a whole schedule block now. I'm like, yo, we eating today. I'm at, at, like, I'm at the table, like, saying grace, and just like, Lord, and please bless Jonathan. Let's keep him healthy. <laughs> yeah, Hall's not my original last name. It's Jonathan. Shout out to Jonathan. Yeah, he keeps me fed every Veterans Day. <laughs> I'm like, can I get this to go? Just... <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, people ask like, why we we broke up? Like, it, like why why didn't it work? And uh, I don't know. Like, it, it, part of it came down to our sleeping situation. Like, we didn't like agree with like the way that we had slept. Cause it's like it seems so so petty. Like, I, I like sleeping on the right side of the bed. It just feels more comfortable to me. I don't know. 
Like it's like a lot more ergonomic in my head. She likes sleeping with everybody else, so it was just <laughs> couldn't get comfortable with the third dude, you know, and I'm just like, hey, like can you like stop fucking my wife, please? Like I can't sleep. <laughs> But, but it, like, it was that, like, the, apparently I'm a, I'm a bad gifter, like, I gave bad gifts, I didn't, I didn't think that was, like, a reason to break up with someone, you look bored, you're like, is it, you're, taking this personal, like, get, get to it, come on, I'm waiting on the, oh, I only showed up for dick jokes, get to the dick jokes, they're, they are coming, dick jokes coming soon. <laughs> well, <laughs> but yeah, apparently I was like a bad gifter, but I followed her lead. She, like, all my birth, like, women created birthday sex. Fuck birthday sex. Like, it, like, it, like and we just, like, fell for it. Like, I'm so mad, because, like, we were like, oh, yeah, I get posted on my birthday. Like, that was it. <laughs> like, we didn't, like, they, they never went shopping. Like, here's, like, I don't know, an iPad and some extra pussy. It was like, you just gave me something that I can get on a Tuesday. <laughs> but birthday sex. Like, and that was that was her gift. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna follow your lead on her birthday. I gave her some dip. Like, come on, some dip on your birthday. Like, she would take my card, go buy herself some lingerie, and then she was like, this is your gift. Do you like that? I was like, oh. And I fell for it, and I was like, all right. I'm gonna take your card, get myself some shit, and you get dick for your birthday. It, I'm divorced, like, how do you think it worked out? Like, what do you think? <laughs> she was like, like, she was like, all right, I already get dick, I don't want yours. Like, what's up? Like, it's just... <laughs> like ah. Like, I showed up, I was nice, so I was like, oh, I got some, like, fresh dick, and I just took a shower, what's up? No. I, I was pissed. I, 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 I was pissed, like, it was, and, like, there, there was one birthday I was, like, I, I, I fell for her trap, she went out, got herself some nice lingerie, I was like, you bought yourself some shit on my car on my birthday. And I fell for it. We, I fucked her. Like I, yeah, I fucked. Her. Like it was, uh, we're all adults here, so we fucked. Then afterwards, you know, I'm laying there, I'm pissed. And she's like, "Why are you mad?" I'm like, you, "I'm sobered up. Like all the blood has returned back to my head." I'm like, "Yo, you went shopping on my birthday. Got yourself some shit." All I got was pussy on my birthday. She was like, what, did you not like what I bought you? Like, I just got you. I was like, no! Like, you bought yourself like this. Like, I didn't get anything, and we're laying there arguing. She's like, fine, go put it on. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, you want something on your birthday. Go ahead, try that on. Put it on. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm still going back and forth. I'm like, look, I'm not going to get in your underwear. She was like, and you never will, motherfucker, with your ungrateful ass. I was like, oh, shit. All right. Yeah, so I just shut the fuck up. I was grateful. But uh, but that was her reason. My reason, I think, like, she she couldn't suck dick. Like, uh, that was, she was bad at, at sucking dick. Like, like, guys, like, all right. Have you guys ever got a bad blowjob? Yeah, right? Yes? <laughs> Did you stop them? No. no! You don't stop, you're like, ah! Like, she's using teeth, making weird noises. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit this one through. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and write it out, though, because she's still sucking my dick. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and be happy about this. <laughs> Is it good for you or what? No. Ladies, I was going to, and she would make eye contact, like she would look at, I hate that shit. I hate, you look like an eye contact, yeah, she made eye contact, and she look at you while you did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall for it, like, ah, I hate, like, it's like the worst angle you can do. <laughs> this is not funny. All of this. Is 
this is uh, she would like look at me and I'm like, can you like can you like uh like have my double chin popping out and just like fuck. Like I that's all this pressure, like what do I do? I don't know what to do. Like dude, well, why are you looking at me? You don't look away from your when, from your plate when you're eating when Jonathan's paying for our food. <laughs> like, she's in focus, like like, I just feel all this pressure. Like, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, do I like give her like a pat on the back? Like, two thumbs up? Just. <laughs> just... <laughs> what would you like if, if, if you make eye contact with them? What, what, what... Oh, thank you. So you don't go down on me. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not smiling during this whole thing. <laughs> he's not making eye contact with me. Like, like something's wrong. Alright. Y'all, do you make eye contact? No? Do you even do it with the lights on? Like, if you guys look like a lights on, you're just like, <laughs> just oh, was it put the jump, just no. Yeah, see, don't, don't fall for that. He's visualizing his ex, like, it's just, like, you could be anybody in the dark, right? It's just. <laughs> like, yeah, Kendra, who the fuck is Kendra? I mean, uh. Just kidding. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to start trouble. Just, <laughs> I'm talking a lot of shit. Okay, <laughs> do you guys make eye contact? Because <laughs> he's visualizing someone else. He's picturing Kendra. That's what that is. He's like, I keep my head all the way back. He's just like, how did I get here? That's what that means. He's just, oh, damn. All right, all right. You gotta get drunk to get head. Cool. I like. I mean, that that's that's kind of rape. Like she's like, wait till you get drunk to like to suck you out. That's that's right. Just saying. Uh, want to report her. <laughs> um. But yeah, so since then, like I've, I've been out dating and, and shit. Like I've, I'm trying to like date. It's hard dating now. Like, I, cause everything is online. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like an old school dude. Like I like meeting people like, in person. And like, but I don't know like you know who my type is. You know what I'm saying? So I've been like dating like a lot of single mothers. Like you, if if, if I'm out and I see a woman with like a but with a son or with a kid who's like half black, like I, I know what her preference is, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, I already got the cheat code. <laughs> like, I can step in and look like, like he's real bad, like from the jump. I'm just like, hey. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was like, hey, this is easy. <laughs> I can like, at least like hang around for the school year and just like. <laughs> School supplies are ex expensive. I'm like what? Like, do uh, you need help uh, paying for these colored pencils? I got you. It's hard. It, it's just really hard. Like I've been like, like you know, somebody told me uh, yoga is a good place to meet single women. So I've been doing yoga. I've been in hot yoga with all the beat and shit. Yes, get my chakras set up. I've been doing all that shit. Well, I I used to. I just got kicked out of one of these classes. Like I was in there, like like looking at all these women and everything. And uh, I don't I don't know what you guys call him. Like he's like the uh, master or the sensei. I don't know. He's leading all the like he, he's in there. And he's like I need everybody to look inward. I'm like okay. He's like look inward. And I was doing all of that. And he was like look inward. I'm like okay. He started saying that funny though. He's standing next to me, looking at me. Everybody's looking at me. He's like, look inward. Like, 
Brad, I took the shit out of him. I was like, you call me M Ward one more time, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was, he was like, no, no, I mean, look within thyself. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> now, like, everybody's staring at me, like, all the ohms stopped. Like, they shut the heat off. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> it was awkward. I put him down. I am so sorry. <laughs> and he walked away like, these niggas are crazy. And then I kicked his ass. <laughs> I had to do it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there were, it's, it is hard dating. It was really hard dating. Tried to meet uh, someone in Subway. Subway is like a pretty sexual place. Like, you can like pick up six inches or a foot long, you know what I'm saying? Subway's lying, though. There, it, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not a foot. It's, 11 and a half inches. <laughs> like, even Subway's lying, but I was up in there. I was up in there, I was like, okay, cool, I'm waiting, there's this girl next to me. I thought it would be like real smooth, I'm like, use your environment. I just leaned over, I was like, hey, yo, uh, you know you can tell a lot about a woman by the type of sub she orders. <laughs> That's pretty slick, but like fellas, like me, like spit game, like not expecting a woman to participate in this conversation, because I was not ready for her to turn and look at me and ask how. Fuck. I'm like, okay, I'm, so I'm looking, see that she's ordering a meatball sub. I'm like, look, you look like you like balls. <laughs> it's not the right answer. It's just bad, like every situation, like it's just bad. Like, uh, there's this, uh, so I've been trying to, I, just something to cross off my bucket list. Uh, I want to uh, own a motorcycle. So I was test driving one, and I'm riding around, stopping a Target parking lot, and this woman walks up to me, and she was like, is this your motorcycle? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, this is my bike, this is my bike. You know, um, my ass looks amazing on motorcycles. sitting this season out. Like, I'm like, alright, I'll try back in 2022. Yeah. Um, recently found out that I was an unplanned pregnancy. Shout out to all the Oops Babies, Oops Babies, and anybody who's not, he's checking his watch, I thought he was raising his hand. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Yeah? Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. No, it, it, it like, it's like damaging, like, they're finding out like, a, a condom busted. Like, it's just, and uh, I also found out that uh, my brother is the favorite child. I'm the oldest. And it all comes down to the naming process. Like, I asked my dad how my brother got his name. And my dad was like, oh, man. Oh, uh, I went hiking. I got to the top of a mountain. I drank from the fresh spring water. I hiked back down, and God blessed me with the name. I like, oh, man. How did I get my name? He's like, oh, shit. Uh... It was day three, they were kicking us out of the hospital. We got some scribble letters and just, boom, Jamar. Like, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I was mad, like, it was like, he got like all like the hiking, the meditating, and the prayer. I didn't get prayer when my mom was pregnant. Like the only prayer that I got was my mom praying that she wasn't pregnant. Yeah, and my dad praying that I wasn't his. I was like, are you sure there was nobody else? Like, sure, all right, cool. Yeah, like people try to like romanticize it for me though. They're like, look, like, just think about this. You're the reason why your parents got married. I'm like, all right. But my brother's 18th birthday is when my dad filed for divorce. He planned that shit perfectly. Like he was banging on the door on my brother's 18th birthday. He was, we were like singing it and he's like, happy birthday. To you. Wow. He was gone. <laughs> I'm not financially responsible for none of these people. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. Like, he like timed it perfectly though. But uh, he's still around. 
So around my dad's 63, he just turned 63. And like, you don't like realize like your parents are, are getting older, it like slaps you in the face, just like a moment, right? Yeah, like, and that moment hit me when I found my dad's Viagra pills. Like, I didn't know, like, that, that, and that's when I really found out that my dad be fucking. Like, I'm like, oh shit. Like, the most disappointing part was like when I found his pills, like there was, one that was cut in half. Like, I don't know what the Viagra rules are. Like, is, you guys can help me out? You guys don't know? No. All right. But um, I was so disappointed. I was like, he can't handle a whole pill. <laughs> oh. I recently found out that that shit runs in the family. Um, while I was like, so back in college, like, when I got winded, like, he was good, you know what I'm saying? Like, like back, uh, you know, I'd be tired, and he still, like, held it down for the whole squad. Like, yeah. Now, I'm tired, he's tired. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen a rubber knife just... It, it, it's just bad. It's, I'm like... I'm 32. I'm like, this thing's supposed to be happening right now. This is <sighs> stress. <laughs> I did pregame or something. It's just I gotta get drunk. Uh, he's he's not even here. All right. <laughs> I don't know. It was all that to say that I took my dad to Viagra pills. I had to crush them up just because I'm like, okay, this is like all I know. Just, you gotta. I have a pill phobia. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys. Like, I'm afraid of pills. Like, I'm, I don't fuck with pills. Like, I just have like this weird. Like, what if I like small and then go and it just like, like it? Like, well, like, what if it's like I have this thought that it's gonna go down and like do this weird Tetris shit? Just like, boop! Like, it's just, ah! I'm gonna be on the 9 o'clock news. My mom's gonna be watching. Just like an Albuquerque man dies from swallowing a pill. My mom's like, that's when she finds out that her son has a drug problem. Like, it was my Agra. <laughs> Some bullshit though. Um, no, one thing I was thinking, there's like a, a lot of murder going on in, in Albuquerque at the moment. Like, people be dying. Like, they're getting killed. Like, I don't know, but. Like, and it's all like around my, like within like a five mile radius of where I live. So, you, you, yeah. I'm like, I thought I lived in a, in a nice neighborhood. Uh, the truth is finally coming out. But, but anyway, but um, I, I was just wondering like, what do you think is gonna, like, you know, like there's one girl, one woman in Albuquerque watching the news, like Albuquerque man just murdered a family of four. And she's like, I sucked his dick last week. Oh shit! Oh, my <sighs> Swallowed and just uh... no. No, I'm the only one who thinks about this. Just like watching the news, and I'm like, I wonder who fucked this guy. Like, all right, cool. This is how I know that the alcohol is wearing off. <laughs> um, I've been doing comedy a minute. Uh, I haven't really been telling people though. Like, I'm finally starting to get used to telling people that I do comedy. Uh, I was eating out at a Chili's, and uh, this waitress comes up, and she's like, what is it that you do? What do you do? I'm like, okay, look, I do comedy. She's like, oh my goodness. So are you just in town for the night? I'm like, uh, no, I'm local. She's like, so you're unemployed? I'm like, no, I have a job. Like, bitch. Like, <laughs> And she, so, so she's asking, like, so do you get paid for these shows? I'm like, uh, nah, nah, you know, I just, uh, you know, I'm still working through the ranks. And she's like, you just go up there and you just talk. She's pushing buttons. I'm like, fuck, like, uh, no. I go up, I make people laugh, damn it. Well, make me laugh. Yeah, I'm like, oh, sh I'm like, all right, look, uh, what's the difference between Jack Daniels and Amy Winehouse? She's like, I don't know. Like, Jack Daniels comes alive when you add coke. She's been dead 10 years, I can tell that joke. Like, 
Yeah, I'm not telling like Mac Miller jokes or anything yet. Like it's just. Yeah, she laughed and she takes off. Comes back with three more girls. Looks at me, <laughs> makes eye contact. Tell another one. It's like, all right, look. Uh, I had a pussy joke. No, I had a dick joke. I'm telling dick jokes. I had a dick joke for you, but it'd be too long. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what? Uh, watch your girl, man. <laughs> yeah, and she's she was she she didn't laugh. She didn't break nothing. She just, that's funny. I had a pussy joke for you, but you'd never get it. <laughs> Buck chillers. My name is Jamar Hall. Y'all been all of that. Have a good night. Peace out. Peace.